so much. Thank you, Joy, for having me. Thank you. Well, first I want to know, what inspired you to do this film? There are many projects and topics out there. Yes. Why this one? Uh, you know, I was never, a, I never ever considered ever doing a movie about trafficking. Uh, what happened, uh, I have a 13-year-old daughter, and at the time the school had wrote me a letter like, you know, don't take your kids to the mall or watch them because kids are being trafficked. And just as an African-American man, that was right. the first time I was like, what, trafficked? And I just thought to myself, like, I've never heard this. You know, you've seen guns, you've seen, you know, people doing things, you've heard kidnapping. But when I seen traffic, it really like lit me up. And uh, I just remember going online and thinking to myself, well, this is something that happens internationally. And uh, I was just shocked to, you know, find out that in my area alone, it had been over 100 abductions. Wow. And kids, my daughter's age, younger, boys and girls. And uh, it just really, you know, organically tore me up inside. And uh, at the time, I was looking to whatever my next project was going to be. Um, and, you know, normally when you do stuff independently, you have to be very, very sure of what mm -hmm. you're going to make because you might not ever get another chance, right? right? <laughs> so this movie to me was like, all right, I'm going to do this. And uh, as I started writing it, I realized very quickly that you have to find uh, a, a hook. And I felt like the thriller aspect of, you know, centered around mm. this story would, would be the way that I could actually lasso people in to understand how, you know, disturbing trafficking is in our cities. So that followed my question I was going to ask you next. Doing the research, what was so shocking? What was the most shocking thing you found out? Oh, too much. 65% uh, of most trafficking victims in the U.S. are African-American women. Um, followed by Latinos. I always thought it was like an international thing, you know, and, and maybe maybe it would be more of Caucasian descent that is being trafficked, but that wasn't right. Um, just the fact that there are multiple rings. So in regular neighborhoods, uh, gas stations across the country, as a matter of fact, there's like a 60% ratio that most rings are in residential neighborhoods. Uh, people are buried underground and brought out at the middle of the night. I mean, I read it all. And uh, as a matter of fact, the gas station that we shot at uh, up in Northern California, there had been uh, one or two abductions there. So I wanted to kind of go into that real world and tap into that psyche with the actors and what we were trying to build, and then more so uh, try to figure out how to hook, grab people, lasso them in, and give them a message at the end of the film, uh, besides just giving them a hell of a ride, you know what I mean? Right. So I think we did a really good job at it. Um, I've never seen a, a movie uh, centered around trafficking like this, so I'm, 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 I'm very hopeful that... Uh, it will work. Okay, one more quick question, and then yeah. we have to end. Joy, anything if you, you can, want. Oh, I like this guy. If you can describe this film in three words, how would you describe Ooh. it? And what would you want audience to take away? The one thing you want them to take away from this film, if anything. Three. Three words to um, describe traffic. Uh, edgy, um, informative, uh, and special, because it's made from my heart. Um, and what I would want you to take away from it is uh, the ability to understand this is actually happening. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike a horror movie where there's a monster that is a star and he is scary, uh, in this film, the monster is trafficking. And it is very scary and it's affecting us. Uh, all genres, all races. And um, I just want this to actually be the platform where you lead a movie and go, Damn, that was crazy. Did you read the stats? You it, know what I mean? And, crazy. Yeah, and have a conversation about it. So that's what I would hope. Yeah, and the stats were pretty scary. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Well, Joy, you. Joy, you know well, what? Don't come so in here trying much. to run out of here, man. You got to talk to I me wish longer. I wish I could talk to you some more. I have like a million things I, I want to ask do. you, but I know next time we will. Thank you so much. Definitely. And thank and you for making beautiful. Thank great you. Great.